Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, but a cruise edition. So I'm going to be walking you through some of the products that I bought for the cruise. If you are new to my channel, I when I'm filming this, I'm currently on a cruise to the Bahamas. I also just want to show you guys what our view is from our room. We had a really nice room and sharing with you some of the things that we've done on the cruise so far. It is day two and we're on a four day cruise. So let's go ahead and go over to a balcony. So here is the balcony of our room and here is some of the makeup that I brought so I bought this guy it says all I need is a mascara and caffeine I got this bag from maybe Charlotte Roos or something but this is what I've been keeping all of my products in now I did not go crazy with bringing products I just bought the bare minimum bare minimum and I'm actually happy that I did that because I wore makeup yesterday. We were in the pool and stuff and it was not a good idea. I was going down a slide with a full face of makeup on, not something that I planned for. So today I'm actually bare faced and tonight is formal night. So you dress up really fancy and stuff. So I figured this would be a good chance to show you some of the makeup that I brought. This is the Dream Street palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It's got a really good neutral shades in here and also some bold shades if I wanted to go bold. That's the only eyeshadow palette I brought. This is the ColourPop and Nudendo highlight palette. So this is the only highlight palette that I brought because it has a lot of different shades in it and they last a really long time on my skin. The bronzer that I brought is from Hourglass. This is the Emmet Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. This has been a good one because it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's a nice, it's a nice warm, like tan looking bronzer. This is the blush I brought. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Baby Love. It's a good neutral matte pink. Then for powder, of course, I brought the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation in the shade Y225. This is actually what I touched up with my makeup yesterday when it got all crazy after going down the water slide and it did a great job just touching it up. I didn't have to redo the rest of my makeup or anything. I just added some of this powder on top of what I already had on and it just made it look flawless all over again. So I've been using this. Then in the rest of the bag, I have my mascara, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, my eyelash curler, then I have my brow pencil. This is a Fenty Beauty lipstick. And then I brought three different liners. This is the Maybelline. This is a brown eyeliner. I brought a nude eyeliner and then a black one. Those are, I feel like, are kind of the essentials. Then, of course, I brought my beauty blender and my brushes are in here. This is a Morphe, like, protected brush case. These are all of the liquid products that I brought. So I have of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, two different Sephora cream lip stains. I have a uh, primer spray from Scandinavia, which I'm trying out. This Born This Way concealer. I have the Tarte Water of the Sea Foundation. This is my Revlon Pore Reducing Primer. So these are the two foundations that I brought. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation because it has a really nice lightweight coverage type of feel and it already is a little bit dewy so it works for the cruise. And then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear because this lasts forever on my skin and it, like if I want a long wearing foundation I'm gonna pick this one. Even though these two are glass I prefer them to be in a bot like in a squeeze tube when I'm traveling but these were good enough that I just wanted to bring them anyway then I have a red lip from Maybelline the matte ink superstay my NARS eyeshadow primer potion this is the Dr. Bryant pores no more primer I have a mini size of this then I also you guys saw this in the last in one of the last videos this is the Escada Escada perfume then I have a buxom full-on lip cream in the shade white Russian that's everything that I brought that is a liquid so I try to keep it to the minimum of what I would want because let's be real this is a cruise we're hanging out in the sun and you don't need all this makeup but for formal night you need the makeup First, I'm going to take this makeup primer spray from Scandinavia this brand like I haven't heard anyone talk about this brand in a while, in like years. So I'm going to prime my skin using this. This adds a little bit of hydration and it was kind of like a mini version that I wanted to try out that seemed similar to my primer, my Smashbox photo finish primer water. And the sprayer is not too bad. You guys can see I have like, I'm getting tan 
but I'm also getting red. So like I said, this is day two of the cruise. Yesterday we got on the cruise at noon and then we like hung out in the evening, did water stuff. Today is a day at sea. Tomorrow we're going to land in Nassau, the Bahamas. And the next day we're going to an all day water park thing in the Bahamas. Then we're headed back. So it's a quick like four day cruise. I'm taking this Revlon pore reducing primer. During the day on a cruise, I wouldn't necessarily recommend wearing makeup because you don't know what you're gonna be doing. You don't know if you're gonna be in the pool, if you like are doing water things. The ship that we're on actually has some like a flow rider type thing where it looks like you're surfing and then it also has some slides that you go down so it has and then like lots of pools so you have a lot of options for water type activities so if you like water type activities that kind of stuff being in a pool don't I would not recommend wearing makeup because let's be real like no one expects you to wear a full face of makeup when you're in a pool and it's hot and it's sticky and it's just a whole thing. For foundation, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. And because I don't have my little cup, my little disc thing that I normally put it into, I'm going to have to use the back of my hand. I'm taking my beauty blender. But for dinner and the evening time, I would recommend the makeup because you're going to shows, you're going to dinner, and it's less likely that your makeup will get messed up by the water stuff in the evening. For this cruise, I wanted to pack a little bit more lightly in terms of makeup. I did not want to bring a whole lot of stuff that I know I like wouldn't use and I would take for nothing. For the evening, I am pretty much just doing my makeup like normal. There's not anything super different about this look that I'm doing right now. One thing I would really recommend is bringing some type of face sunscreen that you have on always, regardless of if you're wearing foundation, like full makeup or nothing at all. Just have sunscreen on your skin because some people rely solely on the sunscreen in your foundation. And if you're not wearing foundation, you still want to protect your skin. So I have, I think it's like the Elma skincare line that I use. So today and yesterday I have been applying that on my skin in the morning. I want to make sure that like if you're in the sun, why not protect your skin? And it can cause a lot of damage to your skin if you are not careful over time with how you protect your skin, like not using sunscreen can damage your skin over time. It's so funny because I brought two foundations that are on the lighter end that matched me when I was not tan, but now I'm, looks a little off. So we're gonna have two bronze. I'm curious if you guys have ever taken a cruise. If you have, let me know down in the comments. Let me know where you went to because this is the first cruise I've ever been on and it seems fun so far. I've been having a really good time. They had a belly flop competition earlier today, so that was fun to see. Taking my Born This Way concealer. I really like this little travel size. Like the mini is good for when you are traveling. I know one of you guys asked me to do a video about what my makeup looks like during the day like when i'm protecting my skin and i just haven't been wearing makeup during the day i mean when you're in the beauty like youtube community you see full faces of makeup all the time it becomes pretty normal to you but on the cruise here with like normal people they don't have a full face of makeup on wherever they go so it's not uncommon Actually, it's very common to see a bunch of people not wearing makeup, at least until the evening time. So I'm going to take my powder. Like I said, today is a day at sea. I've actually been doing decent with the seasickness thing. Normally, I get really seasick on ships, but luckily the boat that we're on is so big that you don't really feel the motion. I mean, there are times when you feel it. Like last night, we were in the theater and it was at the front of the ship and I could feel it so bad. So I have been taking Dramamine, making sure that I'm not gonna get sick. So far that's worked out for me. Like if you are worried about being seasick on the cruise, I would just bring Dramamine just in case. Okay, I look really white and pale. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. There is an escape room on the ship. So I think we're going to do that a little later in the week. We've also, um, there's like Putt Putt, 
There's shows that you go to. Last night we went to a comedy show and an ice show. They have a lot of things you can do on the cruise. So you're not bored while you're just sitting around waiting to go to your destination. I'm gonna take, oh, beauty blender on the floor. I hate when that happens. I'm gonna go in with my blush. We are going to Nassau tomorrow. So I want to, I think I'll probably wear makeup when we go there. But the th following day, the cruise line that we're on has their own island that's like a water park. So I'm not going to be putting on makeup that day for sure. There's just no reason to. I'm going to take, this is actually what I do all the time with this highlight palette. I take a mixture of these two shades right here. Then I apply them to my cheek. These highlights are so pretty. They stay on my skin all day long. Oh, another point that I thought of for not wearing makeup during the day is you, like if you're doing pool activities or things where you have sunscreen on, you're gonna have to shower anyway. I don't know about you, but I hate showering when a full, with a, like all my makeup on. It just is really tough to make sure that your makeup stays okay when you're washing your hair. It's just a lot of stress you don't need. You'd reapply your makeup after you get in the shower anyway. And what we've been doing is we have been showering in the afternoon, like before dinner, when we're done needing sunscreen. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit more bronzer since now I can like pull it off, you know? I'm gonna apply my NARS eyeshadow primer. I'm still obsessed with this, you guys. I've actually heard going around that you don't set down your eyeshadow primer. I think that's insane. I think I saw Tati talking about it where it's like she applies the MAC paint pot and then she just goes in with her eyeshadow and doesn't set her eyeshadow primer, which is the paint pot. I don't know how that works out for her. If you guys use that technique, let me know. I just can never get my eyeshadow to look normal and not patchy, especially if it's a really tacky eyeshadow primer and it doesn't set down that. Your, like your eyeshadow is just gonna stick on to those sticky pieces when you go to apply it. Now that my face is done, I'm going to apply my eyebrow pencil. I will say it's quite odd to me to be in the middle of the ocean and not see any land next to you at all. Like we're actually in the middle of nowhere right now, which is quite crazy to me. One thing that I was worried about coming on this cruise, number one, was the seasickness, and two, was it being really, really hot, and luckily, which I found, is the boat moves all the time, so when you are outside on the top deck where the pool is and stuff, you get a breeze, you get, like, wind all the time, so it's really, really nice. I feel like that's helped with the heat a lot because you're always moving, you always have some sort of breeze happening where you're not just sitting and like baking in the sun. I will say though, it's super important to stay hydrated when you are out hanging out in the sun and you're drinking a beer or whatever, it's really easy to get dehydrated. So one thing that I've been doing is making sure that we always have some water bottle or something with us in case we get thirsty. I wanna make sure that I'm hydrated and I'm not gonna get a headache or anything. For eyes, since it is formal night, I think I'm gonna go in with a mixture of like this on my lid, this in the crease, this in the outer V. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm actually starting with this shade right here has to give a little bit of like neutral definition in the crease and I'll build it up with that more warm red shade. Next I'm going to take this really warm red shade, it's kind of like a red brown, on a little bit more of a defined brush, maybe this one. This is an AOA Studio E130. These are actually really good. I think I got these, these were like the dollar brushes and they're pretty good. Start like lower, low lower lowly bringing that into my crease a little but i'm not taking it very high and i'm gonna go back in with that brush we started out with make sure that the crease it, like the edges are blended next we're taking this really dark brown shade and i'm gonna put that even more precisely into the outer v using a mac 217 brush even though this is a very dark and smoky type look I feel like you could still pull it off, especially for formal night. 
Maybe I should take this top one all over my lid. That is this shade right here. Then I'm going to take probably this dark brown shade one more time on a pencil brush. This is the Sigma E15 brush and very lightly put it up against my lower lash line, just keeping it out toward the outer edge. This is one of my favorite looks to do with this palette. And I'm going to take a pencil brush with, let's see, I'm going to take this shade right here and smudge it out using that now i'm moving on to mascara this is my normal like, covergirl lash blast fusion mascara i'm going to zoom through this part because it takes forever for me to do my mascara so i added some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then i also went in with a black eyeliner from maybelline this is the lasting drama waterproof gel pencil in the shade sleek onyx i wanted a smokier look for this eye look so that's what i did um, as far as lipstick goes i'm probably going to wear either this ulta beauty velvet matte lipstick or one of the sephora cream matte lip stains because these are amazing i don't know i might go with this one this has given me like vacation vibes this is the sephora cream lip stain in the shade 71 this is gonna be like a nice nude shade for the look right you guys i think i'm going to take you through a hair tutorial as well like how i normally curl my hair in case you are interested if not totally fine thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you watching and learning how i did this makeup look while i'm on the cruise but for you guys who want to see how i normally style my hair stay tuned we're gonna zoom through that real fast so i do have a paul mitchell the pro tools express iron unclipped wand this is what i use to style my hair whenever i have curly hair i use this wand so let me go get some dry shampoo when i do my hair i typically always have it up when i am doing my makeup so what I do is my hair is actually already a little curly from the day before, but we're going to just refresh it. So I always take, let's see, the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I have the shade Divine Dark because I find that the regular one leaves a really bad white cast and this does not leave as much of a white cast. So what I do is I spray this on my, like where I part my hair like that then I just take this top layer of hair because this is what's gonna give me the volume I spray a little bit right there then I do it on the other side as well then I just kind of zhuzh it a little bit is that a word I don't know then I take this back piece and I just give a little sprays so the goal with this is number one to pick up any oil that's in your hair because I did not wash my hair today and also to give your hair a little bit of volume so what i do is i run my fingers through the areas that i put dry shampoo then i find my part again and if there's any leftover spray from the dry shampoo i just kind of go like this there is my hair with volume in it again i'm going to take my hairbrush this is the a tangle teaser and run that through my hair if i don't do this my hair will get really knotted very fast I also think I got my hair in some ice cream earlier, so I think it's hard to get through. Yep, that's what happened. Ow. All right, I think I got it out. <laughs> First, I'm going to take my hair tie again, and I split my hair into two different sections, like a bottom layer and then the top layer. I focus on the bottom layer first. Now, this is not going to stay in my hair very long. Like, the bottom layer fades really fast so i make sure that my hair on the bottom is very very curled so i keep it about that long and then i kind of pull the curl out a little bit so that's what one of the curls look like and then i alternate so that time i went away from my face this time i'm gonna go toward my face i really like wands i do not like the ones where you clamp your hair in it does not work for my hair let it and then i pull it a little bit i'm going to run my hand through my hair when i'm done and then i make sure not to take too big of chunks so that it will curl faster when you take really large pieces of hair it takes a while for it to curl and that's one side of my hair done i 
can do this in 10 to 12 minutes, like my whole head. And it's a lot faster since I chopped my hair. I cut like four inches off of my hair. I needed to do it. It was way too much for me to handle anymore. It was just getting caught in everything, like in jackets, when I would lay down, when I would sit down. It was just everywhere all the time and I was over it. So <laughs> we cut four inches off. This wand is really great because number one, you can change the width of the wand barrel. And this is the only wand that I have ever used to curl my hair that actually keeps my hair curled for more than a day. So that lower lat half of my head took me five minutes to do. I'm not super fancy when it comes to styling my hair styling it to me is curling it and I just leave it at that do not try and like style on top of style it just seems like too much work if I'm gonna curl it it'll just be curled and pretty and I'm not doing anything else with it my front layer I don't hold as long because as you can see it has already curled significantly faster because it's such a smaller little section I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing today. Like tonight after dinner, when I'm filming this, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, dinner's at five. The top pieces I don't curl nearly as long. On this side of my head, I normally don't do like the alternating as much just because when I go like this on the side of my head, it just looks, tends to look a little odd. So I try and pick small hidden pieces to do it with, not a piece that's on the top layer of my head. I don't know. I can't get that alternating like other way curl right on this side. It just looks weird. So if you guys have any questions about like anything on the cruise, please let me know. I did not do any other vlogging on the cruise just cause number one, it's hard, it's hard to do that when you're trying to have a good time. Like it's just hard to carry camera with you everywhere. So I didn't do that and I just wanted to experience it for what it was and focus on this get ready with me. So if you have any questions that I didn't answer or that you're curious about when you go, to like what to expect on a cruise please let me know so then i run my fingers through it not too bad but just like a little bit and there you have it this is my hair this is getting ready yeah everything took not that long it was pretty fast so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here i really appreciate you guys watching i hope you had a great day and i will see you guys in my next video bye when i'm back on land